Greetings, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to this Softball Sunday. Yesterday we did Can't You Hear Me Knockin', so today naturally we're doing Guns N' Roses' classy rendition of Bob Dylan's classic tune, Knockin' on Heaven's Door. This is the ultimate softball. This should be an immediate add to your repertoire. But before we begin, I would like to thank from the very bottom of my heart Mr. Mark Corso and Mr. Tom Sayis for signing up for the Patreon supporter of the Cause Club. Gentlemen, thank you so very, very, very much. And if you would like to find out what that's all about, the link, of course, will be in the description. Oh, you found me. But of course, it's a Guns N' Roses song, so you need to put all of your strings down one half step, one note, one fret's worth. So instead of Eddie 8, Dynamite, Goodbye, Eddie, you will have E flat, A flat, D flat, G flat, B flat, and E flat. That's called detuning one half step down. If you don't know how to do that, I've made a video on that, and the link for that will be in the description as well. Video bombed by a dog. You know, or don't bother. If you don't want to play along to the song, then that's fine. Leave your guitar in standard tuning and just play along with yourself. But after you've gotten there, the rest is next day lasagna. All we need is a G for the intro, a D, and a C. And that's the intro and the chorus and the solo the rhythm section for the solo of course that leaves us only with the verse the verse is almost just as easy G D a minor, followed by the thing we just did, G, D, C, and it alternates in that fashion, G, D, A minor, G, D, C. But of course, there's fancy things you can do. For the G, don't do anything, just leave it regular. For the D, you can do all your normal D stuff. That's a sus four with your pinky finger on the E string, third fret. Take your middle finger off for a sus two. The way Guns N' Roses handles it a bunch is they strum the chord and then pluck that E string, pull off the middle finger, and pluck down the strings. Or you can even hammer on or take off your pointer finger. You can do all kinds of stuff. You can take your pointer finger off. You can add your pinky finger to the E string third fret. It's a high G note. That works. You can do your C suspended four. That's pinky finger on the D string third fret. Take it off. Middle finger off for a C suspended two. Or right when you hit your C, this is a great thing to do. You can hammer on your middle finger there. Any combination of those many things. the B string third fret with the pinky that works too on the C but a minor is probably the most fun yet to be had you can do your pointer finger off on the A minor you can do the pinky finger on the B string third fret on the A minor you can add your pinky finger to E3 just like we did with the C on A minor you can take off your ring finger you can take off your middle finger it's the Dr. Seuss of moves That's it. If you're noodling with a friend, your friend can use the E minor pentatonic scale for his noodling. That's 12, 15, 12, 14, 12, 14, 12, 14, 12, 15, 12, 15. You might want to throw in a B string 13th fret. 
But other than that, the rest is up to you. Thank you so much for being here on this Softball Sunday. I hope that was efficient, fun, and enjoyable. I will see you next time with more stuff. Goodbye. <laughs>